Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Sunday upload for you dudes, talking about the market and what is going on right now with the transfer market. There's a lot of stuff going on that we didn't really expect. We didn't really think that it was going to pan out this way based on years past, based on what we thought was going to happen at the start of this FIFA. So I want to talk through some things, some certain situations, and just maybe kind of look at the market as a whole today and talk with you guys about what I see happening in the next couple of days and maybe some reasons why it hasn't specifically reacted uh, like we thought it would have. So we're going to take a look at some footprint graphs today and also take a look at some prices on the market um, to see uh, some of these price fluctuations, some that we thought we were going to have and some that happened that we didn't expect or the lack of fluctuations on some cards as well. So as you can see here, we're looking at the index gold on Footbin. I love this index drop down. Click on the market page up here at the top and it drops down. You have a lot of different indexes, some of which aren't active yet. Obviously, we don't have UCL cards like we had last year. They're not in the game yet. The game has just come out. But this is what I love about that page. You have some of the top risers and top fallers according to your console. Um, and it just really kind of gives you a sense of what is going up and down on the market and possibly can help you pick up some deals. But I want to look at some of these cards today because it seems to me that uh, some of this stuff just isn't rising. And you know, I talked about it, a lot of other people talked about it. Based on years past and based on what we thought was going to happen this year, we thought that the market after the full game release was going to boom. It has in years past, that's just the way that it has been. As people get on the game, they go out and they buy teams, they open packs. There were a lot of packs that were open for the ones to watch promo that was on Friday. And I thought, and a lot of other people thought that after that, prices were going to boom. Now, it looks like prices have gone up on some cards, and it looks like on a lot of cards, prices have stayed the same and have even gone lower. And people have, people are looking at these cards and they're, they're wondering, why are these cards not going up? Um, and I, it's hard to really answer that question, but it, you you honestly have to take a look take a look at it on a per card basis. So we just looked at Sterling right there. He is up. This is another guy that is up. And I think what it really shows is the guys that are re have really rebounded and, and have gone up like we expected them to, Sandro, Sterling, some of the really meta players that really don't have a substitute. If you look in their price ranges and what they are, like uh, Sterling, it's Salah and Sterling is the basic top two right wingers in the Premier League. Sterling obviously with a great year last year. And then Sandro is basically the left back for the Serie A. If you're going to use a left back in the Serie A, this is going to be the guy that you're using. Look at his price. Friday after the packs, 80,000 coins. And look what he booms to. He booms up to 96k, 98k where he is currently at. And this happened on a lot of cards that were basically the card. If the, there's just a lot of demand for Alexandro. If you're building a Calcioa team and you're using a high level, uh, a, a high level Calcioa team, Alexandro is definitely the guy that you're going to get in that club, it, that club or that squad. Not to mention that he is Brazilian, so that adds some hype to his card as well. Uh, but again, if you look on this list, it's hard to really find a trend, um, except for one thing. A lot of the cards over here on this top down side are a bit lower rated even though people see this Goretzka card at 35,000 coins and they look back here and they say wow Sunday during EA access before the game was actually out to everybody he was 39,000 coins and he's actually gone down from that price what's happening why is he not up last year he was more expensive and you know this year he's got the uh, Bayern links I mean there's already an informed Coutinho there's already multiple ones to watches from Bayern there's a player of the month from Bayern why isn't this card rising it's 84 rated I think it's still got packed a lot and, you know, I honestly think that a lot of people in this game, they haven't bought teams quite yet, or they're still operating on pretty low budgets, so they haven't been able to buy high-tier players like this. And I think what a lot of people are putting coins into over the last couple of days is actually SBCs. Maybe not the Joseph, maybe not the Pookie, maybe not this St. Maxime SBC, or the Pulisic on the move, um, but maybe they're putting stuff into the advanced SBCs. I mean, people are spending 120,000 coins on this FIFA 20 wants to watch SBC, the National Pride SBC, which if we go back over here to Footbin, I believe this SBC is somewhere in the round range of 100,000 coins. At least it was when it came out. Yes, 130,000 coins that people are spending on this, na this National Pride SBC to get packs. People are spending 124,000 coins to get this SBC done. 
Now, granted, it does give you some pretty good packs back, but that's a lot of coins that people are spending on this SBC, and I bet most people aren't getting it in return. That's a GG from EA. Rinsing coins right away, honestly, from people's accounts. Same thing with the Maxime. The Lewandowski as well, I feel like they made very tasty uh, in terms of his price range for his card. Like 150,000 coins. It's barely an upgrade, but it's an, a way to uh, suck some coins off that card. And another, another way I can tell that a lot of people are doing SBCs and might not be building teams is because of some of these SBC card fluctuations that we have seen in the past couple of days. Lucas Podolski right now. Look at his price. Lucas put oh my gosh, is he extinct? My man is literally extinct. People are paying 10,000 coins for Lucas Podolski in order to complete some of these SBCs. I bought this card literally. I'm going to have to show you this graph because this is insane. I bought this card last night for around 1,200 coins. That's very wrong. His price has not been updated on Footbin at all. If you're sniping this card, you might be getting some undercuts. But look at this crazy rise in price. I'm pretty sure last night I bought it for like 2K. Yeah, down here. What the heck is going on? Friday. Footbin is having some uh, trouble with uh, updating prices as well. As you can see here, price updated eight hours ago. There's a lot of these cards that they have not been updating prices on. Not sure what the deal with that is. Hopefully they can get that fixed and sorted. But this card has been going up a ton because of SBCs. It went up really high back here during EA Access because people got on the game, wanted to do the advanced SBCs, and this is a card that you uh, is in a lot of solutions. And it looks like, I mean, obviously people are doing SBCs right now. With this card at 9,000 coins, people are definitely doing SBCs, and they're paying 10K for this card. Just the amount of demand for SBCs. How else do you think, or how do you think people made millions on FIFA last year through SBCs by buying tons of discard informs? Just, just, just because of the fact that people can't stop doing SBCs and they want to do SBCs. Pavone is another one, a winger from the MLS. How much is he going for right now? Okay, so he's not as expensive as he was before for some other SBCs. Um, and then the Argentinian left backs. I want to look at those as well. I believe those are up in price. Those are very popular SBC cards that people have been using to complete these advanced SBCs. They're in a lot of solutions. Looks like they're going for somewhere around 3K. Uh, yeah, looks like they're going, yeah, right around 3,000 coins for these Argentinian left backs. That is inflated as well. So you can tell right now that a lot of people are doing SBCs, and I think that is partially why we're not seeing some of these cards rise. Now, I have a lot of cards that are listed right now for lazy buyers, some investments of cards that I thought were going to go up. I have a Gomez, a Sancho, some Guedes, some out of packs, Sarabia, I think I just have one of those, a Rodri. You know, a Thiago Silva in form that I thought was too low. It just I have some of these cards that I thought were going to rise after the pack onslaught as people started to build teams, and they're just not rising yet. I think that time is coming, and I think it's just going to take a bit because people are still getting onto the game first couple days. They're trying out SBCs. People know that SBCs give out good packs, and they're taking their chances. That's how I see it. I honestly don't think... Especially looking back at Podolski's price, or uh, excuse me, Goretzka, I don't think this is a 35k card, man. I really don't think this is a 35k card. I feel like it should be 50k, uh, given the fact that Bundesliga is hyped up. Last year, his card price was higher than this. I feel like this card should be higher, and, and that's how I feel about a lot of cards that are on this index gold sheet that are down low, pretty cheap. Even De Gea, I think I saw De Gea over here, like 70k. 75,000 coins for De Gea right now. Uh, and that was updated recently, 13 minutes ago. But look, what he, he was 95,000 coins back here during EA, EA Access. Uh, down Now he's down to 70,000 coins. I feel like this card, this card is not a 75K card. Um, and it just, I think the supply, not the supply, I just think the demand of the FIFA, most of the FIFA community right now is just to do SBCs. The really the grind for the game and to play games just hasn't hit yet. I'm not sure if the casuals are finding the game good and, or bad and they're not wanting to play it, or if they just haven't gotten onto the game themselves yet. I'm really intrigued. Look at this. Podolski selling for 9.8K. Unbelievable. I'm really just... I think the SBCs are what's causing this market to stay low and not really boom yet. I really think that's what it could be. Um... In some cases, obviously, we looked at the Sandro. Uh, we looked at some of the icons in some of the upper tier markets where 
it's more of the advanced players buying these cards or the more hardcore FIFA players. Ronaldo was 1.6 million coins um, on release day. I think right now he's like 1.7. A little bit higher than 170 even. So he's up a, like 100k or so. Uh, he's actually up more than that right now at the current moment, 1.76. So some of the high tier cards, like Alexandro even is a pretty... If you're buying Alexandro as a left back for your team, you're dropping 100k on a left back, you're probably buying a pretty expensive team. So that's something I think that a lot of people... Not a, not a lot of people would be doing. So maybe the more elite FIFA players or people who spend money on the game would have the coin capacity to go buy something like that. But um, I think that, uh, yeah, it's just crazy that only some of these cards have risen. A lot of the cards that people thought would rise haven't yet. Um, but yeah, I think it's just because the SBC demand is so high in the game. Obviously, people are going to run out of SBCs to do. These SBCs, you can only do them once. You can't repeat them. The demand for these SBCs, the advanced SBCs, will diminish. I think we'll see again. I really think this week... We will see the gain on the market that we thought we would see in the first day or two after the full game release. I think we're going to see that start to happen throughout this week as the emphasis begins to come on foot champs, playing the game, stuff like that. Obviously, foot champions does open pretty soon. The weekend league does open in a couple days, so it opens in five days and three hours, so it is Thursday. It is coming. And people are going to be building teams for that, especially the first weekend league just kind of has its hype. You know, the first weekend league of FIFA 20, people getting in there, playing games, getting rewards for the first time uh, is very important. And there's a lot of hype around that. So I think you're going to start to see more of a rise this week. It just hasn't been as, as timely as we thought it would be uh, based on years past. So that's enough talk about that and just the market in general. I want to talk about a few things that happened with the market today in terms of ones to watches and also in terms of uh, just some player card price movements. Obviously today, some of these ones to watches actually had games. Wow, this Brandt card has dropped a ton. So last night, I almost bought this Brandt card for 60,000 60, coins. Heading into his game today, it was about right in this time frame that you see right here. He rose back up to 79,000 coins, didn't have a great game, and now he's down to 40. 5,000 coins, so I think it's actually kind of cheap um, for that brand card. I honestly think that's pretty cheap, but a lot of the ones to watch has had the similar movements today. Um, Sarabia was a little bit high before the game. Lozano dropped after his game. Thorgan Hazard dropped. Ben Yedder dropped. A lot of these guys dropped after the game today, and to be honest, it's fun to trade with these cards. It's fun to take risks, but you just have to be careful with them because they're still in packs for another like nine days, and you just have to be careful with these cards. Jao Felix down to 160k post game. Actually up a bit already. Maybe an opportunity to buy in the panic selling right there. But these guys are in packs for like eight more days. So I would not touch these cards as a long-term investment just yet. Wait till they get packed. Wait till they hit, get hit with weekend league or division rivals rewards that will come on Thursday. Squad battle rewards that will come tonight. So just be careful with those cards and watch their prices. Yes, some people might have games. Pepe has a game on Monday. You might see some panic selling after that, and that's a very uh, usable and a meta card that people are going to be desiring. So there could be a rebound, kind of like we saw in the, the Jao Felix situation, going from 160 to 173. Not a lot of a rebound, but still there. Still a possible you know way to make coins. But for real, if you're going to do the weekly investing with these cards leading up to games, you're probably going to want to wait until they do go out of packs, just because then there's no more supply coming onto the game. And that's going to be the safest way to do it. Obviously, if you're a pro trader and you're getting there and you like to flip those cards, absolutely go for it. Uh, but other than that, I would be kind of careful. Now, I want to talk about this guy today because Endombele does he does have a weekly objective. And today for Tottenham Hotspur, he did score a goal early on. This created a lot of hype for this card right away. Uh, because people thought he has, he had the possibility get, of getting an inform. I don't think he's actually going to get an inform. He did score a goal, but I think Harry Kane was like man of the match, so I'm not sure who's going to get the inform from this. If they really, really want to promote one to watches, and if they want people to do this objective, which I would totally be fine with, because we could make some investments around this objective right here, this Endombele objective, then I think they would give him an inform. But we'll have to see what happens on. Wednesday, if it's even possible. He's not in packs as a wants to watch because he's an objective. So that would be really interesting if they 
slid him into team of the week to try to make an agenda around people trying to grind towards that once to watch card so i'm interested to see what happens there but that has in turn made his gold card price drop even lower as more people are thinking hey this guy might get it in for him i'm gonna go do the season objective hey this guy's playing well i'm gonna go spend the time to grind and do this objective to get this card will this end card rise when the objective is over Yes, I think there's the possibility of that. That's going to be in peak time. I mean, eight days from now is going to be peak time when people are buying cards. They're getting weekly rewards for the first time. Yes, it's 81 rated. It's going to get packed a lot. But you could see this be like a possible weekend league rewards investment. You buy, uh, since it's low rated, you might have to buy this card after rewards. You might see his price dip like in the hours after rewards, but you might see him shoot back up because people put him in their team that weren't able to get the objective. We'll just have to kind of keep an eye out on Twitter and stuff and see how many people are actually doing this objective uh, because it's a big one and it's a really cool one. They put a popular player in there, especially with all the hype that he received pre-game this year with uh, his statistics and a lot of people had him in their starter squads. And a lot of people were honestly paying uh, a lot of coins for him as well. They were paying up to 20,000 coins for this card. Um, but now he's sitting down here like 11 to 12,000 coins, which is pretty cheap for a card that was as hyped up as he was considering he was 20,000 coins before that. So that's a card we're going to have to keep our eyes on, keep a watch out for, and, uh, be ready to watch the market movements for. But again, if you're holding on to cards like I am, if you have investments and you've made it to this point of the video, which I greatly thank you if you have made it to this point of the video, just keep holding all right i have some informs i have some gold cards here you know i've got like a hundred thousand coins or more actually on my transfer list right now just stuff that i want to try to flip even for like three to four k a card profit on some of these going calo guedes just continue to wait because this stuff is going to go up people are going to be buying teams upgrading their teams with the weekend league coming up that's where a lot of people are going to put their coins towards i mean i am even looking at upgrading my team uh, in an aspect as well, because obviously I want to get good weekend league rewards. I want to have a good team to play the game with, especially early on in the game when people are just getting used to stuff and they need to get that coin total up. They play games to do that. So again, this market right now, just chill. Just be chilling on this market. Don't be worried about stuff going down, about stuff going up, about stuff not going up that you feel like should be. Just chill with it. Give it a little bit of time. Let the hype start to rise for Weekend League and stuff like that. And I think you will start to see some more hype on a lot of these cards and a lot of card prices start to rise. So I wanted to get on this video today with you guys to talk about it again. I want to mention one thing at the end as well. If you stuck it out until now in the video, uh, me giving you guys trading tips on here, it's never a guarantee. You can't always take this stuff to the bank. This is a live market. EA Sports even named this market. They called it a living market organism a live organism this transfer market that is influenced by so many factors and we can't always pinpoint the factors because we don't know what all people are doing on this game we can see some things we can see prices move on the market and know okay this is what people are interested in right now with the podolsky example but we don't always know what's happening with the market so again if you take this trading tips and you take to heart and you believe it is fact you might be disappointed sometimes because i'm a human the market is it's uh, unreadable at times, and it's hard to read at times. Even for people who have been studying the market for multiple years like I am, I have, and like other people in the trading community as well. So again, use the information that I give you. Gain the knowledge that I can help you gain, that you can uh, learn from watching me about trading, about you know methods on the market and stuff like that, and learn to make your own conclusions. And when you don't know something, it's okay. Watch what happens see what moves happen on the market and learn from it. That's what I'm looking forward to, to these next couple of days. I wanted to know, I want really want to know what exactly have people bought their teams and the prices aren't going up for a reason. If prices don't go up until Thursday, that'll be my answer. But I don't think people have bought their teams yet. But again, that's just opinionated. That's just me talking. So I wanted to kind of get that out here at the end of the video. It really doesn't belong in this video at all. But I just wanted to say that because I've had a couple comments on videos saying you you said this and it made me lose coins. Well, you know, we're all going to be wrong at some point. Even though I was a top 100 trader last year, there's a lot of people that were top 100 traders last year that are incorrect sometimes about the market. 
Everybody is on their own individual foot journey and ultimately you do make the decisions. I would love to gain, help you gain knowledge to make those decisions more efficiently and better. But again, this is the market. It's a living organism per the words of EA Sports FIFA. And sometimes things do not go according to planned on this market. So that's kind of my little spiel at the end of the video, if you will. But again, this market is kind of questionable right now. It's kind of crazy. Are there ways to make coins? Absolutely. Absolutely there are. There's always ways to make coins on the market. But again, I'm just rambling at this point. Thank you guys for watching the video today. The market's going to go up. That's my opinion, all right? And you can take it. Take it as you will. The market should continue to rise. So if you got stuff that you're holding on to, like me, sit tight, hold on to it, and we move through this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team. Market Outlook video coming tomorrow. We'll take a look at this next week. There's some big stuff coming this week. So that, that video tomorrow is going to be a big one. I want to get you guys ready for a few things on the market. If you, want, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.